Hey guys, it's Adam EK Swimming Bird, and welcome to the newest snapshot for Minecraft 1.9. This is 15W33C, and it marks the surprise arrival of one of the biggest new features in the combat update, shields. At long last, we can finally try them out, and they're pretty cool. Now, developer Jeb says they're still a work in progress. There's no sound effects or fun feedback at the moment, but that will arrive at a later date. So let's talk about everything we know so far about shields. So you can craft shields in any of the 16 wool colors. You can see here all the base shields. And you need three of the same wool block, three of any type of planks. You can mix and match wooden planks here, and one iron ingot. You'll see the edge of the shield has that iron trim and also the little handle that you hold onto there. So when you put that all together in a crafting table, you'll get a blank shield, but you can also combine them with banners to make a special customized shield. Like you see, I've got my little bird shield here. Now, it is a, a bit weird because you can see the shield is smaller, so it cuts down on the pixels. My bird lost his eyes, and uh, it's a little strange looking, but it's still nice. You can design some good patterns. It just might not be exactly like the banner that you make. So to make a banner shield, all you have to do is take a shield of the same color of the base banner that you have, put them together in a crafting table, and you'll get a combined shield, and you even get your banner back. That's very considerate. But if you tried to take like a white shield and a red banner, it's not gonna work. So yeah, use the same type there. If you're gonna make a shield right now, it seems like there's a bug where it is already broken a little bit, and you can't stack shields. Even if they have the same durability or same color, you can't stack them on top of each other, but they are very easy to repair, which is good because they take a lot of durability damage. So just put them in an anvil with wooden planks and you'll get your shield back. Another bug right now is that you just get a black shield back no matter what. So that's kind of strange. So now that we have our shield, why would you even want one? I'll show you guys here. Well, for one, sword blocking is no longer in the game. I don't know if you can hear, but I'm right clicking and my sword ain't blocking. So you're gonna have to use a shield now. You can use it in either hand and if you right click, it will block no matter what, unless you got something in your hand that takes over that action in your main hand, like your bow, you'll shoot. If you do have your shield blocking with something else in your hand and then you switch to like a bow and just keep holding it, it will still block. So that's kind of a nice little touch there, but as soon as you let go, you'll start shooting arrows again. We are gonna go into survival mode. And I'm gonna eat up some fish here. We'll jump in and I'll show you guys how to use shields in combat. So the reason shields are new, the new form of blocking is because they're actually better than swords for blocking. Let's drop a skeleton there. You'll see shields actually completely block projectile damage. And watch my shield in the lower left. It's gonna quickly take a lot of durability. But if you are able to see that projectile in your general sights, it's pretty lenient as well. You can see I can turn pretty far away and my shield is still blocking. But yeah, anywhere basically in front of you and to the sides, your shield will block as long as you're holding right click. And it completely blocks out skeleton arrows. Other projectiles, like a gassed fireball or a blaze fireball, it will block out the fireball damage, but the explosion or the fire will still get you, so be careful about that. But you can see already, the, sh the skeleton's been shooting me for quite a while, and what's funny is that the arrows still stick in you. Uh, hopefully in the future, they'll get stuck in the shield and it'll look cooler, but right now I'm just looking like a pincushion, even though I'm blocking all these uh, arrows. There's lots of little touches I'm sure they'll, they'll try to add to make the shields a little bit, you know, nicer in the future. But yeah, you can see it's completely taking all that arrow damage for me. So that's even better than a sword. The sword would just partially block damage. If we put a, uh, a melee mob in here, like a zomble, and we fight that, it will reduce the damage. So here's how much I take normally, two hearts. And if I'm blocking, it only takes half a heart. And it also dampens the, uh, the hit sound. So it definitely does provide a little bit of extra protection. I'm not wearing any armor. I'm just full of arrows, so it's helping me out a lot here. Now a creeper explosion, if we can get a, uh, a creeper to spawn in here, I think I've got one, there is one, okay. Uh, if this is gonna blow up in your face, you still wanna block with the shield because it will dampen a lot of that damage, but it might break, there we go, my shield broke and it did a lot, jeez. It, yeah, it kinda cuts it in half just like the, the sword would, but it is nice to protect you, just make sure you have one either in your main or offhand. You can dual wield shields, which looks really strange. You can even flop them back and forth here to change the colors. 
but when you're blocking with them, it only blocks with the one in your main hand, you can see. It doesn't provide you any extra protect protection to have two shields, but it does look cool when you go into battle. Now, there's gonna be an extra sound when you block those hits. Like Jeb mentioned, they're gonna add in the sound effects, so when you do block, it will make like a ting sound or something. I'm hoping we get some other types of shields because you saw how fast these shields run out of durability because they are made out of wood. But I think it's, it's good. You might want to carry multiple shields with you when they do come out so that you can protect yourself. But being able to completely block arrows really makes the bow not as overpowered in, uh, in PvP as it was previously. I'm hoping some other features get added, like maybe axes could do more damage to shield to give them some type of a combat property. That would be awesome, since the shields are made out of wood after all. But yeah, I like the fact that they completely block arrows. That's very useful. So shields are in, and they're still going to get improvements, but I'm happy with them so far. I just want to see some other types, like maybe iron and diamond and all that good stuff. And they might even, maybe we could get kind of like leather armor. Maybe the iron and diamond can't have the banners on, on them, but they're smaller, so they don't block as well, or something like that. We could see differences in them, like trade-offs to make them nice and balanced. So a few other things I want to mention here. The Ender Dragon, if you respawn the dragon, it now properly drops experience. And the Brewing Stand, if you guys watched the last snapshot, we got this Dragon's Breath now to make the Lingering Potions. Previously, it would just eat up the bottle if there were multiple Dragon's Breath in there, but you'll see here in a second, the bottle will just pop out when it's done being used. And you can also pop Splash Potions into the Brewing Stand on their own. You don't have to wait until they're brewed from a normal potion. There's that bottle, just flew off down the hill. There it is. But yeah, so now you can put splash potions in there even after they're already crafted. And one last feature here, if you go to the end ship, instead of the pumpkin, so originally there was a beacon that was very overpowered in the end ship. Then they replaced it with a pumpkin. Now there is a hopper with a book inside from developer Sarah, as you can see, he wrote it. It says, work in progress. We will have something else here soon. So that's kind of ominous, I'm wondering what's gonna replace the pumpkin. A lot of people weren't that happy with the pumpkin as a reward to go to the end ship, but there's other stuff in there as well. Hopefully something new, something cool and interesting will pop up in there as well. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you're excited for shields. I am, they are pretty cool. I need to tweak my bird banner a little bit to make it look better. And <laughs> there's an arrow in my eye, but I don't mind because I'm happy with shields. Please leave a like if you did enjoy this. And uh, if you wanna subscribe, I do appreciate it as well do a lot of these types of videos and play some other games as well. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, it's at SwimmingBird941. I'll see you guys next time, though, for some more Minecraft.